Hello there SpyBot users, and welcome back to the Safer Networking YouTube channel. My name is Rob from Team SpyBot at Safer Networking, and I'm here today to bring you another video in our web series of tutorials and instructional videos for the SpyBot Free Edition. Today's video will be cleaning temporary files with the system scan using the SpyBot Free Edition. So let's get started with today's tutorial. So welcome to today's video on Cleaning temporary files using the system scan with the SpyBot Free Edition. So what are temporary files? Temporary files or foo files are created by applications to hold data temporarily while a file is being created, processed or used. Sometimes these files may not be deleted due to crashes in certain programs such as when editing documents or media files. It is recommended to delete temporary files to free up space on your hard drive as well as to free up system memory as some files may still be in use. Deleting temporary files will also help speed up the overall scan time of a system scan. The temporary files cleaner appears in the system scan window of SpyBot when there are over 100 files present in the Windows temp folder. So let's go ahead and open up SpyBot by right clicking on the SpyBot desktop icon, then choosing run as administrator to open SpyBot with administrator privileges. Select yes when prompted by the user account control, then wait for the start center to load. Once the start center is loaded, click on the system scan icon in the basic tools section. The system scan will then open in another window. It may take a few seconds for the system scan window to fully load. I'm going to maximize this window to give us a better view. If you are using a licensed edition of SpyBot Plus Antivirus, a system scan will automatically begin once the system scan window has loaded. If you wish, you can cancel this scan before continuing with the cleanup of temporary files. And at the top of the system scan window, you should see many temporary files found. In this case, 133 temporary files found. Scan speed will increase if you clean up this folder. Again, you will only see this message if there are over 100 files present in the Windows temp folder. To delete the temporary files, click the clean up button. SpyBot will then delete the temporary files. It is possible that the window will temporarily become non-responsive while SpyBot removes the files but it should return to normal once all the files have been removed successfully. Once the files have been removed, you should see Cleaned temporary files. In this case, 101 temporary files were cleaned, but 32 files were still in use and therefore could not be deleted. If this happens, you may need to restart your PC, then remove the files manually by navigating to the temp folder of the Windows directory on your C drive. If you have a large amount of files stored in the temp folder, your scan time should be significantly reduced because of cleaning temporary files, depending on the amount of files and the size of the files present. We can then click the hide button to hide the temporary file cleaner. It will appear again in the system scan window when there are 100 files or more present in the temp folder. Once we have finished cleaning up temporary files, we can close the system scan window as well as the SpyBot Start Center to conclude today's video tutorial. So that's it for today's video on cleaning temporary files with the system scan using the SpyBot Free Edition. I'd like to thank you all for watching and hope that you enjoyed today's video. And if you did, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. You can also leave a comment in the comment section below or get in touch by sending an email to teamspybot at spybot.info or by using the request support page in the support center on the Safer Networking website. I've been Rob from Team SpyBot. Thanks again for watching. Stay safe. Keep on searching. Keep on destroying. See you guys soon.